Hey, babe. I did a thing. No. Hey, everybody. Looks like I have a lot of explaining to do. But, um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get that started and, uh, well, let's get to it. Get on things. All right. Why did I buy a deuce and a half? Well, I didn't. I traded for it. Brace yourselves. I traded my uh, 96 Ram for this. Well, this and an M109A trailer. So, uh, I tell you what, we'll do a little walk around right now, and then uh, we'll get into the why. Yeah. So, this is the view um, from 10 feet up in the air. Uh, this truck has a gunner's port, so currently there is no other seat than the driver's seat, which is not good because... Hold on, okay, try to wiggle out of here. So I'm pretty sure this is the original spring base on the seat, but the seat itself is not original and it's not even connected. So we got the spring base there, and then you have the seat, which likes to just, well, fall off. So that's something we have to address. Anyway, um, the guy I got it from said they just rebuilt the transmission and put a new clutch in it. Um, it does seem like it has a new clutch. Um, that's probably about the only thing that's new on it. Has an old service tag from an update done by the military there. I don't know what it's a two. I haven't looked it up. If there's a way to look it up. Uh, passenger side window does not roll up or down. It is currently stuck, broken in that position. All the other windows open and close that I can tell because I've worked them all. Uh, let's see. It did come with a whole mess of tools in the storage compartment. I don't know if he forgot them or he just knew I was going to need them. But I threw my toe strap in there. But there's a jack and a whole bunch of hand tools. There's a top for jerry can, which there are a couple jerry cans in the back. The uh, jerry can holder that goes right here is missing. But I have one that I can put on there. Um, this vent flap with the skull on it doesn't stay in position. Somebody stuck a turbo on there. Obviously it is turbo, but that's just dumb. So no power steering, original um, nine by 20 split rim wheels with the uh, uh, NPT tires. Those are bias ply. They do not grip the road like radials. Um, uh, this step on the bumper is bent. Or, yeah, yeah, it is bent. This one is missing. Somebody put a quote-unquote custom radiator in it. Um, problem being, the fan shroud's on the outside. So, this truck overheats like crazy. So, we are... Addressing that is one of the problems. Um, I know a bunch of freeze plugs in the engine were going out. And uh, one of the conditions of this trade was I made him replace those. But prior to replacing those, he had put a whole bunch of stop leak in there. I'm still in the process of flushing all that crap out of there. Uh, there's definitely a toe or alignment issue on the axle, which I'm scared to even look at at the moment. Uh truck like all of these trucks normally does not have a muffler uh, we will be changing that because I'm tired of going deaf does have some cancer in places like this step it's rotted through you can still stand on it because the supports are still there the support is still there but some rust on the back of the fenders 
but that's about it honestly oh there is a little bit more rust um at the base of these pillars a couple of them there's a hole clean through it but uh i'm sure that i can fabricate some kind of patch to to clean that up and just, you know re, -sol re solidify it re whatever words are hard uh i believe that's a 60 gallon fuel tank um kid said since the day he bought it in six years uh he only put diesel in it once when he first got it he's been running used motor oil and stuff ever since which i'm a little concerned about because he said that he didn't really filter it or you know do, spend any time cleaning it much so we've put uh 11 gallons of diesel in it so far um barely moved the gauge but it did start running a little bit better almost immediately so there's clearly an issue with at least the uh the mix ratio in there you can run uh, these are a multi-fuel engine you can run just about anything um but it has to be in the proper mix um you can't just dump whatever in there and expect it to last forever if it's too thick or if there's metal particulates and stuff in there that are chewing away you're going to eat up your uh injection pump yes that is the official license plate and it has been updated but yeah you'll eat up your uh your injection pump if it's too thin you'll burn up your uh injectors and or rings and everything else um this mess of fluid on the ground is mostly from the injection pump every time i park it or let it idle so i know that needs some serious work uh just by taking a quick gander underneath it does not look like much service has been done to this thing in many many years so there's lots to do lots to show you guys uh i am going to probably repaint this in the desert scheme um just so that uh it's not quite so hot because it is damn hot to drive even on an 80 degree day um what else oh the brake lights turn signals and headlights do not work the running lights work so i suspect there's likely either a wiring issue or and or the bulbs are burned out because if i'm not mistaken um no i don't know for sure anyway it's likely the bulbs are burned out they're 24 volts and guys usually don't like spending the extra money to replace those anyway um that's about it let me get you a view from the front and then we'll go in the air conditioning and cover just a little bit more about why so first of all this thing's nickname is uh loki it's got the horns there and one of the two reasons i named it loki is there's a guy that's got a five ton on the internet that uh, he calls thor so this one being the little brother and it has horns and it broke down on me five times on the way home after I got it. Decided to call it Loki. Sorry for the mess. I've been cleaning things out. All right, so let's go in the air conditioning and we'll talk about that. All right, so why did I get a deuce and a half? Um, the short answer is ever since I was a little kid sitting around watching war movies and stuff with my dad, um, I kind of fell in love with those, you know, it's, that's being a historical piece of American military culture. Um, it's one of the very few things that I would have traded my, my truck for. And to answer any questions that may pop up, yes, I already regret trading my truck. Um, just because I had put so much money, blood, sweat, tears, etc. into it. Um, and it was one of my dream vehicles. But uh, I felt this was a, a good move for the channel, for one. And when we do go to move, it's going to be a great platform, you know, to, uh, to be able to use instead of hiring a moving truck. Uh, I got the M35A2 and the M109 in exchange for my truck. So, um... 
there you know we just did a general walk around um there there's there's a lot to do um there's a lot to unpack uh i i can't even list everything off the top of my head that i already know needs to be done so but we're gonna you know keep making videos on that i figured um you know we were pretty much done with the dually uh and we were needing something else for for content and I am planning on branching out and doing some will it start videos, but um, as kind of a, a base staple, um, I figured this deuce was also a good idea. So do I like it? Yes. Is it a pain in the ass already? Yes. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, so now we're going to slide into some uh, fantastic B-roll footage that I shot the other day. And um, then we'll be back to say goodbye.
All right, guys. Well, that's everything I've got for you for today. Uh, we will be following up. We have several things on the near horizon. Um, my wife's Durango, after getting in a weird kind of fender bender, it's going to need some serious love. So there's going to be at least one, maybe more videos coming up on that as well. Um, that one is the, the primary one to get fixed right now because that's our grocery getter. It's how we get to appointments, etc. Um, it might need a transmission rebuild. Uh, I'm not sure yet. So we'll, uh, we'll be going down that road very soon. So, but until then, take care. I love you. Bye. Bruh. Ow. <laughs> I guess we'll use it. It landed right side up. <laughs> got you that time. Yeah, it got all over me. Chair's falling off. <laughs> like a lot. I don't know if I can get out this door now. When you now have a truck so big that regular tools just won't work anymore, you gotta up the game. Here's a bit of scale. Here's a 12 ounce soda can. Yeah, straight to the face and I wanna get lost, I'm sick